Yucca Valley is a unique destination for those seeking beautiful blue skies, starry nights, and endless views of pristine desert beauty. With a population of about 25,000, Yucca Valley serves as the economic hub of the Morongo Basin and as a gateway to Joshua Tree National Park. High Desert Water District delivers over a billion gallons of water each year to Yucca Valley and Yucca Mesa. It takes a dedicated staff of 34, along with 13 active wells, 10 booster stations, 16 reservoirs, and 300 miles of pipeline to deliver water to our customers. With the community support, High Desert Water District can continue to meet the challenges that come along with preserving our precious water resources. Every year, these septic systems discharge 287 million gallons of wastewater into our groundwater supply. As a result, this is affecting the pristine water being delivered to our aquifer and the amount of water that can be stored for the future. Recognizing this threat to our water supply, the California Regional Water Quality Control Board has passed a resolution prohibiting septic discharge in parts of Yucca Valley beginning May 19, 2016. I'm here with Mark Ban, Assistant General Manager from High Desert Water District. Mark, can you explain to me how septic systems work? Sure, the wastewater that's generated in your home from either flushing the toilet or dumping something down the drain ends up in your septic tank. One compartment allows the solids to decompose while the other allows the liquids to leave and percolate back into the ground. That liquid that leaves the septic system is actually high concentration nitrate laden water that's entering our groundwater. And it can also contain other constituents such as pharmaceuticals and chemicals that are dumped down the drain. It's the California Regional Water Quality Control Board's responsibility to protect the water resources throughout the state. Our own water quality analysis, in conjunction with the United States Geological Survey's scientific analysis, has indicated that septic system discharge is responsible for the high concentrations of nitrates within our aquifer. Once the prohibition date becomes effective, if property owners continue to discharge as they're doing today, they will be in violation of the prohibition and subject to fines. High Desert Water District has developed a comprehensive community-wide solution that will protect groundwater quality, ensure compliance with all state requirements, and provide for the safe and reliable collection and treatment of wastewater, all at the lowest possible cost. The project consists of a sewer system to collect wastewater currently being handled by local septic systems, a facility to treat water to a level that meets state standards, and recharge ponds here at the future site of the wastewater reclamation facility that will return the treated water to the aquifer. The total cost of the project, which includes the wastewater treatment plant and collection system, will be financed with over $7 million in grants already awarded to the district and a low interest loan from the state revolving fund. Property owners will pay for project costs, their private connection, and sewer service. Low interest financing is available for private connection, which includes septic tank abandonment. The project costs will be paid for through a property tax assessment. This property tax assessment will be made possible by a mail-in ballot to approve an assessment district. Once approved, this will allow property owners to finance project costs over a 30-year period with low interest rates. Without a reliable local water supply, life in our community would not be possible. Preserving these resources is a responsibility that High Desert Water District takes seriously. Coming together as a community, we can all be part of the solution that protects our groundwater and helps our community thrive, now and in the future. For more information about the Wastewater Reclamation Project, visit protectgroundwater.org.